Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I'm just here in my car. I'm about 30 minutes early to volunteer for the Ottawa Food Bank at their farm. So I thought I would do like a little bit of a vlog kind of style today. Definitely let me know what you think. On my way, I got some A&W. I'm trying out their Beyond Meat Burger. You really have to eat before you volunteer at this farm because it's like actual farming. It's quite hard work. So yeah, I'm just eating that and chilling. It's actually really good. Like it's been a little while since I've had a Beyond Meat Burger actually. And I forgot how good they were. They taste honestly like regular burgers. They're just like, like the patty is a little bit more like easily like falling apart. But other than that, I really like them. I also got some fries of course, and I've got the diet root beer. I really like this Diet a w root beer. It's like so hard to find it. Decided to volunteer at the food bank. This is my third time coming out here this summer. And this summer is the first time that I've done it. It's great. Like it's a really good workout and you know, you're helping people. You're um, picking all of his fruits and vegetables for people in the food banks to eat. It's a good time. It makes you feel good. It makes your body feel good. So I really enjoy it. I've been feeling a little bit lonely and out of it lately. I think during COVID-19 when like the crisis was at its like peak, it was okay to feel lonely. But now that that's kind of over and I'm still feeling a little bit lonely and out of it, like that's what makes it really bad. You know, I was always taught if you feel bad about yourself, do something for others. So I'm hoping that coming out here today makes me feel a little bit better. I mean, I kind of already feel better just getting out of the city and being in my car. I love my car. I love, I love driving. And even that, like, has made me feel like, you know, I've got a little bit more purpose. By the way, I'm wearing this shirt from Mark's Work Warehouse and it's bug proof and it's honestly changed my life. I'm wearing the men's one because the men one has, the men's one has um, more pockets, which is a significant flaw. But anyway, I love this shirt and it's great for this. I've been listening to a lot of country music and I was listening to country music on the way out here and a couple of the songs I was listening to in the city and I just wasn't feeling them but the minute I come out here and it's like all farms and stuff um, I started to like the songs so I think it was really just about the environment. I already feel better just being out of the city. Something about the city just you know makes me feel bad about myself but coming out here it just clears my mind so I'm definitely hoping to buy a house in the country, you know, within the next three to five years. Um, we'll see how the mar housing market goes, but yeah, I definitely don't want to be in the city anymore. I'm just not feeling it. I brought a water bottle. It's a half frozen water bottle. And inside are the BCAAs that I did in my GNC haul, which I will link above. And I'm actually really liking these BCAAs the more I use them. When I first tasted it in the video, I was like, eh, I don't know about this. But actually the gumball taste is very mild. And so I find that I can like drink the whole thing um, with like a full scoop of BCAAs. And you know, it doesn't feel sugary and gross, which my old one, which was watermelon flavor, I did not like, I liked it the first sip, but as I kept drinking it, it was just like, ugh. So. I actually really like these BCAAs, I'm really happy with them. I ended up stopping at Saunders Farm along the way and I picked up some vegetables and fruits to take home. The first thing is this like really incredible corn that they grow. We got some other corn from the supermarket the other day and it just does not compare to the corn that they grow like out in the Canadian country. You know, like there's just something special. It's so sweet and the kernels are smaller. Let me show you. So this is what the corn looks like and actually I've noticed that this is a different one than the type that we got last time because they're all the kernels are all the same color but Ontario is actually known for a type of corn called peaches and cream where like some of the kernels are white and some of them are yellow. Like I'm sure this corn is really good because it's nice and fresh um, but that's the one that I prefer. I got a dozen of the fresh corn for $10. And please excuse my trunk, it's full of like yoga blocks and like tool sets, stuff like that. Um, anyway, so I got a dozen corn, which is going to be very easy to get through because like I said, this is very delicious fresh corn. And then I also got some, 
fresh apples. They're like these little tiny apples, um, but they feel quite nice. And I would say they're like really close to a Macintosh apple, but um, yeah, they're, they're like a nice early season apple. So unfortunately I forgot what they were called, but I got about a dozen of these for $5. I think it's still too early to make like an apple crumble or an apple pie. I'm not really feeling that yet. So we'll probably just eat these um, with some cut up slices of cheese. Um, I like to do that as like a breakfast or as like an afternoon snack. Um, my husband loves apples, so he'll probably eat most of these as well. So yeah, I'm like super happy with my little haul here. They had other stuff as well. They had like carrots and cucumbers and stuff like that, but because it's just turned uh, into September, corn and apples are just like where it's at. So here is the front gate. It's turning out to be very, very hot, so I'm really glad that I brought my ice cream. And I'm going to go inside and show you the farm. You have to walk down this really long corridor um, to get to the farm. Um, and it's actually quite a large farm. Here is the farm and as you can see it is absolutely gigantic. I just talked to Duncan who is kind of the volunteer coordinator. He's on a tractor right here. He's just out there watering some plants I think. Oh no, he's like delivering some stuff. So that's Duncan. He's a great guy. He is the volunteer coordinator. And actually just in front of me are some butternut squash that look absolutely ready for harvesting. But I'm told today we are going to be doing melons and some beans. So we probably won't be touching these, but they're definitely going to be picking them soon because they look completely ready. And there are some more just like right there. Can you see them? Like these huge butternut squash like right there. It's going to be an exciting day. It is very, very hot and I can't wait to get started. Oh, that over there is Brian. He is um, the other person who works here and he's great. He's actually doing a degree in sustainable agriculture. So he uses his knowledge to help out here on the farm. We harvested these cantaloupes. Um, actually, Brian picked the cantaloupes and then he threw them at me and I placed them into these containers. So these will be going to the food bank today or tomorrow. Now we are going through and picking some beans. So for example, here there is a um, green bean. No, sorry, it's a snap pea. So I'm gonna be picking those and putting them in my bin. So these beans here are called rattlesnake beans and we're picking some of those too. They're in with the rest of the beans. And I'm told next we will be doing bush beans. Look at these beautiful tall sunflowers. So they're actually not harvesting the sunflowers. They just use them at the front of the um, farm to attract bees so that the bees go and pollinate the vegetables. I think that's so smart. Here are some tomato plants. And these aren't ready for harvest yet, but they're super pretty. I'm just taking a quick break, having some water, but we are doing bush beans now and it's where you pick up the bush that has the beans in them and we're actually just going to compost the rest of the plants because they are at the end of their life. So we are pulling the beans off the plants and then composting them. But it looks like it is going to rain, so I will be putting my camera away for now and we have about 45 minutes of bean picking left. Here are some of the beans that we harvested from the bush. I was on my way out and I came across this super cute little trail of mushrooms. There's so many of them and they just like keep going. I just think it's so cute. I love mushrooms. Do you guys love mushrooms? Hey, so I am back in my car after volunteering for four hours and I have to be honest with you guys, I feel incredible. Like this was exactly what I needed. I was out in the sun, you know, picking vegetables. The other volunteers were so nice, just so genuinely just good people and you know, I was talking with them for four hours, you know, in between like picking vegetables and stuff. I really needed that just like social time as well as just that time outdoors. The sun is like 
there's like sun in between rain clouds it's kind of really weird weather so they actually gave me two carrots as like a thank you gift so I've got these two ugly carrots so it's like split right but I'm sure I can use it for like a soup or something I'll just cut off the bad part so I've got a really big one and then I also picked out a small one so sometimes the volunteers get to take home vegetables if they are ugly and they're not good enough for even the food bank as well I think it was I needed some time without my cell phone I still haven't checked my cell phone I haven't checked my cell phone all afternoon it can be such a big source of negativity for me and I do need to remember that sometimes I need to just not look at it I highly recommend coming out here and volunteering on a farm if you can <laughs> like it's it's very good for the soul I'm so glad I did it we ended up harvesting like maybe 40 like cantaloupes and then we got like so many bins of beans we did the beans that were on like the stalks and then once those were done we did the beans the bush beans I'm definitely glad I ate before I did it because four hours is a long time of farming and you definitely have a lot of respect for farmers who are out there all day every day it's a hard job and I would honestly sign myself up for it right now um, I might regret that like a month in but yeah I just I love the way I feel right now I would love to feel like this every day <laughs> all right so tonight I've just made some plans and I'm gonna be hanging out with my brother and my sister-in-law and my husband as well as another friend of ours so I'm gonna pick up some sushi and I'm gonna bring that with me to their place so my sister-in-law and my friend, uh, they really like sushi, and my husband does not, so I'm sure the guys will kind of get a pizza or something, but I'm really excited, so I'm going to go and pick up the sushi, and then pick up my friend, and then go to my brother's place. I'm at 168 Sushi Buffet. I just got some maki, so just like a mix of salmon and uh, cucumber and avocado and there's more maki in there and they also included a miso soup and a salad which I didn't order so that's really nice so yeah I'm gonna take this to my brother and sister-in-law's house and we're going to eat it here's the sushi that I got and there's a miso soup and a salad Hey, so we just got home and I pretty much immediately took a shower because I was still covered in dirt from farming and I'm gonna do some skincare. I've really been enjoying this Garnier Bio, this lavender um, scented cream. Usually scented stuff breaks me out but this really doesn't. Like as you can see I'm like nearly finished it and I'm definitely gonna buy another one. It's really good. Um, it's just like a lavender scented moisturizer. Lately, I've been putting this vitamin E cream on as an eye cream. I hauled it in my like GNC haul, I'll link that above. Um, it's like a really, really thick cream. It's like a Vaseline, but much, much thicker and stickier. And I get eczema around my eyes, so I find this works really well. Lastly, I'm going to put on some hair stuff, and lately I've been using this Joyco Zero Heat um, air dry styling cream, and it's basically for if you air dry your hair. So I just made some tea. This is Sip of Sage from David's Tea. Um, and I'm just gonna drink this while we watch TV and then call it a night. It's about 10.30 p.m. So yeah, that was my day. Thank you for watching. Um, please let me know how you liked this video and these types of videos and whether I should make more. Um, and please subscribe. So bye.